Hi everyone, uh, it is great to be here presenting our sample on Microsoft Viva Connections Adaptive Card uh, showcasing public holidays. So holidays are the most exciting part of our life and out of this excitement, at least I keep close eye on uh, public holidays, although they don't uh, keep changing at a regular basis. But hopefully placing this card on your Viva Connection dashboard will help you ensure well-being of your employees. Right. So on the author front, uh, myself, Nandadeep Natsan, I'm Microsoft MVP for M365 Apps and Services, and I'm privileged to have this sample developed along with my colleagues, Harvi Kulkarni, who is a consultant at Microsoft and have joined us today with me uh, for this presentation. And Smita Natsan, who is a Microsoft MVP for M365 development area. And here are our social media handles to get in touch with us for any later discussions. So showcasing this public holidays as a Viva card was quite a common ask uh, that we three uh, came across during our discussions with our customers and colleagues. So we took this opportunity to build one and then worked on it over a weekend project to make it available under the PNP repo, which is now serve, serving all of us. All right, so as a summary for this, uh, this sample shows how to build an ace with card view and multiple quick views to display the public holidays for employees based on their office location. At the same time, employees can also use this solution to update their office location as well. So while we are adopting to Microsoft Viva connections to uh, create some kind of an engaging digital employee experience, having this kind of a card built for them to show the upcoming uh, public holidays will add definitely some more value to their well-being. So for this uh, public holidays, the we built that uh, using an S component type in uh, SharePoint framework, which enables developers to build rich kind of an experiences for Viva connection dashboard as well as uh, SharePoint pages. And when we decide to create uh, a solution, we get at least um, choices to create the card probably with uh, basic card template, image card template, or a primary text template. Each of those uh, have um, uh, different capabilities to render the content. And this particular solution is developed with image card template because uh, it is managing the uh, primary text title and image configuration better for displaying the holidays. So specifically talking about this solution, it displays current logged in users public holidays in card view based on their office location. And with the action button on the card, it helps employees to browse the quick view, which showcase all of the public holidays for their location. And also from there, they will be able to update the uh, office location. So this sample is uh, developed with uh, SPFX version 1.15.0, and it is available to download and use under the PNP as sample repository uh, at the uh, um, URL which is which is mentioned on the screen. Uh, if you can scroll, uh, Ravi. All right, thank you. So uh, let, let us come to the uh, implementation side of you. Uh, so this solution is backed up by the SharePoint list, which needs to be present on your SharePoint home site. So this list uh, has some simple schema to store location-wise list of public holidays. So firstly, we have a title which is out of the box column, which presents the public holiday title. Second column is more important, the office location. So this office location is a choice field to present the locations where holiday applies to because one holiday can be applied to multiple locations. So that's the reason we have this created as a choice field. So this should be mapped from the property pane with the user profile field in the Azure AD, which contains the user location. So it could be uh, office location uh, as in our case, or even it could be city, country, or whatever property you want to map that with. Then we have a date column, which presents the date of that public holiday when it falls to. And then we have an optional image column, uh, which is used to upload image, which is related to the public holiday. And if in case you don't specify any image, a generic image which is stored in the assets folder of the solution will be displayed in a quick view. So on the property pane, we have a uh, few things like uh, card title, which, which can be shown up. And then that user profile property to use with, uh, it is a major one. So you need to just map that to the Azure AD profile property of the user. And from there, it will be able to fetch everything based on your user location. And then obviously you will have to choose the uh, list 
where uh, which will display from where the um, holidays are coming through and then uh, th that was quick and with that i will hand it over to my colleague ravi to walk us through the demo and the code part uh, ravi uh, over to you thank you nandeep that was the good introduction about the card uh, now let's see how it works so we have uh, created a simple list that will store all information about the holidays across the different office location this list contains four columns the title of the holiday then we have office location column which is a multi choice column and which support multiple locations then we have date of the holiday and the optional column image for the holiday now let's quickly see how the card works so basically to set this card up we have to set up few properties in the property pane let me edit this web part so the very first property which we have to set is the here we have to provide the user profile property which is used to store the user location in your organization on my tenant we are using office location and then the next property which we have to set is the list which we have designed to store the holidays and in case if you select the wrong list we have designed a error card to show you the error and the detail error will be logged into the console and then we have the last property uh, you can restrict your web part to show holidays till a particular date using this field for example if you want to restrict it to this year i will simply select 31st december from the calendar now let me uh, save this and let me preview it so currently my user profile property is set to india location hence it will show me the next upcoming holiday on the card view for my location this is a default card view which is uh, which will be available on the dashboard and we have provided a card button here like upcoming holidays and that will open the quick view and that will show next upcoming holidays at my location and in the quick view i can see that my location is set to india and these are the next upcoming holidays at my location also we have provided here a update location button uh, action button and this will provide you a drop down to select from the available location and this available location we are querying from the from our holiday list so suppose if i want to change my location to australia and if i click on update the uh, location has been successfully updated uh, this message we are getting and then if i click on the close now you can see that the uh, default card view has been updated to the australian holiday and if i click again on the upcoming holidays now it will show me the next upcoming holidays in the australia location and similarly i can again update my location to some different location as well so that was pretty much about the card and let me quickly jump on to the code view okay so this sample is developed using spfx version 1.15.0 and we have used three packages pnp sp is used to interact with the sharepoint data then we have spfx property controls which is used to show the list picker in the property pane and then we have the moment to interact with the dates uh, we have also designed a service that will help us to interact with the sharepoint data and to get and update the user profile property so firstly in this uh, service we are setting up the context and the very next method is to get the office location based on the current user profile property and here we have used ms graph client v3 which is part of the sp http package and then similarly the next method is used to update the particular office location with the new location which we have using in our quick view then the next method is to get the upcoming public holidays based on the current user location and if i have provided any limit uh, to date in in my property pane it will get me the filters uh, public holidays and the very last method is to get the available location this is to get the filtered available location from the holiday list that we are showing in the in the quick view when we are actually updating our location so moving on to the main ts file we have declared some state variables over here but the important ones are the available locations which are the filter available location from the holiday list then we have office location which stores the uh, current user office location and then these are some of the boolean values which we are uh, interacting in the, into the our code and then we have upcoming holidays this will basically store all the upcoming holidays for the current user location then we have uh, set up some views uh, so there are 
uh, the default view is the card view and we have three card views over there and then we have three quick uh, four quick views which we have registered over here so the very first uh, default view which we see is the card view and then we have error card view and setup card view which are the supporting views for the card view and related to quick view we have the the quick view here and then we have supporting views which are loading views error views and success view which are supporting this loading uh, which are supporting this quick view then we are setting up the, our service with the current context and if the user has not pick up the list title then we are actually showing him the card view setup id uh, view basically which tells him that you need to set up your web part property page first and then you will be able to see the card if all goes well then we are calling this load card info method over here which is basically querying our service with the current user location and the profile property and it's getting all the available location as well and the upcoming holidays and it is binding to our state if all goes well then we are showing the default card view onto the dashboard else if there are any errors we are actually showing the error card view so next thing is to we are actually uh, rendering the card view register default card view over here and then we have a method over here which is on property pane field change which is actually when whenever you make any changes in your property pane this will be triggered and it will automatically load the refreshed card info on your dashboard then we have the card view dot ts file basically this is uh, this file represent this card block actually and uh, the very first method is the get data method which fetches the latest upcoming holidays from our state variable and displays the very first holiday onto our card and then we have the card buttons over here so we have created one card button that is upcoming holidays and when you click on it it will simply load the quick view registry id that is our quick view and then we have the last method which is on card selection which will basically navigate to the upcoming holidays list when you click on this card moving on to the quickview.ts file so this quickview.ts file will uh, represent the next upcoming holidays view so this is the quickview.ts file and basically into into this file we are actually uh, getting the data again and we are setting up this state with the next upcoming holidays and again if everything goes well then we are just displaying them in one by one if something went wrong then we have the supporting error view quick view which we are displaying over there and then we have on action button over here so this is basically triggered when you have selected any location and click on update then this basically will call our service and it will update uh, the user's new location and this quick view is based on the adaptive card which is quick view template.json and uh, based on the state variables we are leveraging the state variables to set the values over here and we have few action uh, card as well here action.show card and then we have the action.subset which is the submit button and when clicked on it this method will be triggered so that's pretty much from the code part and the demo part uh, so thank you very much for the opportunity to have us here to present our sample and uh, please do reach out to us in case of any queries through see these social media handlers thank you thank you very much absolutely fantastic demo really love that it's generated tons of uh, chat as well around locations uh, so it's definitely something that people are really interested in so uh, fantastic thank you very much for that mm -hmm.